Hey everyone, this is Grant Nader with Spark Sites. I'm pumped to be in front of you today. I hope you guys are doing great. I'd love to welcome all the new clients that came in in January and for the first few weeks of February. We're doing GMF Steel, we're doing Samson Metal, we're doing Chesser Music Studio, hey you guys. And all those who are coming in this week, we're excited to have you, so thank you. Real quick, our quick lesson for today is something that came up that was really important with a high-end steel company here in town, I just mentioned them. Um, they came to us to, uh, to basically build their website and we asked them, as we do with all of you guys, what's your goal with the new website? And we assumed, rightly so, as we do with a lot of clients, is that you're trying to get new clients. So we came up with a concept for their website that was based on getting new steel clients. And they laughed and they said, hey guys, uh, we usually don't sell 10, 20, 30 million dollars of steel to people based on our website. We're building a website based on recruiting. Because you see right now, a lot of millennials and younger are high-skilled people, they're highly educated, but they don't have a lot of manual skills. Regardless, these companies know that they need young blood on their social media, they need young blood on their team, they need people that are tech-savvy to help them take their steel companies, their trade companies, their blue-collar, their otherwise blue-collar businesses to the next level. They're aggressive, but they're not usually appealing to millennials with their website. So they came to us and said, listen, can you do something with our website that we can't do on our Facebook page, that we can't do in sales meetings? And that's simply this, recruit. So a lot of you say, hey, I can, not a lot of you guys, because you're our clients, but a lot of people say, hey, I can get by with my Facebook page. I don't need a website, do I? I said, you do need a website because of a lot of other things we can do with your website. One of the things we can do with your website is recruit. So real quick, we've got three quick points on how to use your website to recruit that you can't do with your Facebook page. First thing, sets the tone. When you're on Facebook, you might have a lot of, a huge following. You might even have a responsive following. But the first thing you want to do when you recruit is set the tone. Are you a serious business? Do you want them to come in with a coat on? Or are you a very loose and fun-loving business? You can try to set that tone through some of your photos and even some of your snark, but in the end, it's Facebook colors, it's Facebook pace. You don't control the tone of that entire environment. So like this steel company, they wanted it to be fun-loving. They wanted lots of photos of young people mixing with an older generation, doing trades, having fun doing it. So we can control that with the website. We can control that to start setting up the tone of the recruitment. The next thing you want to do with the website is filter. By setting the tone, you control how the page layout flows. And when it goes there, it sets the tone first. Hey, we're a fun, loving, exciting place for millennials to work and also work in the trades and high skill, high paid jobs. But then you want to filter out non-ideal clients, non-ideal employees. These are people who are going, hey man, this looks easy, I could do this, I just want to hang out and do social media for a company like this all day long. You can filter that out pretty quickly with a website by contextualizing some of the content, asking tough questions that might make you know, the casual uh, young worker go, mm, maybe this place isn't for me. It helps you filter out non-ideal clients. And last but not least is uh, sets the tone, filter, and then, oh my gosh, what was this like? Oh, target. Then it lets you target those clients a bit better. What I mean is this, when you normally build a website to attract new clients, you don't think about what would I like on my website? You think about what would that target client like? What are their colors? What's their age bracket? What's their gender? You know, what's their demographic? Similarly, as you're recruiting, you can target ideal client, ideal potential recruits. Now, you don't want to violate any federal hiring and labor laws. We know that. But you do want to target um, your target clients. So are they young and exciting? Maybe you go for an Instagram, Snapchat look. If you're hiring for that sort of thing, or if you're hiring for just young tradespersons or apprentices, you might change the look and feel of that entire workflow of them moving from the top of that site to the subscription place where they put it, not subscription, the application place where they put in their name, their background, their contact info, and answer questions. You can not only set the tone and not only filter out non-ideal clients, you can begin to target whether it's a specific skill set. Are you hiring engineers? Let's use images that show people using draft boards. Let's ask technical questions. Are you looking for social media people? You can make it more fun and interesting. You can control all of these elements when you have a website and not just a Facebook page. So for this month's, uh, for this month's lesson for Spark Sites, we want you to start thinking about if you were to hire, because a lot of you guys are growing, a lot of you are reporting that you're interested in hiring, how could you use your website to recruit people that are your target ideal? 
Then we can actually talk, reach out to us, let us know. We can help you build a careers page or a hiring page. Because here's my last point. When do you want to start the hiring process? Three months ago. When's the second best time to start the hiring process? Today. You might be a one person, one man, one woman show. I understand that. But you always want to be interviewing because you never know when you're going to find that diamond in the rough. So having that section on your website that sets that tone can set you up for a lot of success because you'll have a bench that's being warmed with potential people that you want to hire when the time is right. So anyways, that's my tip for today on how to use your website, doing things that your Facebook page can't do, sets a tone, filters, and targets your ideal target employee. So thanks so much. Ask us any questions about what you can do with your website that you never knew you could. So thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon.